Hello, grade six students, and welcome to this lesson of module five, project part one. As usual, you need to know why you're watching this video. In other words, what are the learning objectives of this lesson? Number one, read a poster to answer two yes no questions using skimming as a skill. Number two, read a poster to answer six WH questions using scanning as a reading skill. And number three, identify the features of a poster. That means that we're going to know how to write a poster. To be able to follow me, please bring your students' books and have them ready on page 61 and don't forget to bring your pen and a blank sheet of paper to take notes when needed. On this page of the student's book we can find this exercise. Exercise 1. Let's have a look at the instructions and read them together. Below is a poster that Mark made. The questions are, did he wear glasses last year? And has he got a pet now? So what are the key words in these two questions? Good. And the first question, the key word is glasses. And in the second one, the key word is a pet. So, to find the answers to these questions, we have to look for these words, or we can look for pictures that represent these words. Let's go ahead and start with question one. Did he wear glasses last year? Here is another key, last year. So if we go to the poster, we'll find last year here on this colon. So we search in this colon. We need glasses as a picture or as a word. And here is the one. So this is the location or the place in which we can find the answer to our question. Again, the question is, did he wear glasses last year? Let's read this. I didn't wear glasses. So the answer is no, he didn't. Well done. Let's move to the second question. Has he got a pet now? So we go to the other corner of this year, which represents now. And we search for the word pet or we search for a picture of a pet to find it here. So let's read this part together. I have got a pet cat. Its name is Lizzie. So the answer is yes, he has. Well done and let's move on. So read this poster and find the answers to the following questions. The questions are, number one, how often does Mark do karate? Number two, what time does Mark usually go to bed? Number three, what is the name of Mark's pet cat? The last question, does Mark like fruit. Now, let's do number one together. How often does Mark do karate? So here we are searching for karate. This is the keyword. And the question is how often? Thank you. This is the answer here. I do karate three times a week. So the answer is 
here three times a week so we write he does karate three times a week well done now it's time to do question number two what time does mark usually go to bed so what time does not did we're talking about this year what time does mark usually go to bed if we go to the poster we'll find in this part mark has written i go to bed at nine o'clock so the answer is he usually goes to bed at nine let's move to the third question what is the name of mark's pet cat we go to the poster find the pet cat here i've got a pet cat its name is lizzie so what's the answer good its name is lizzie now it's time to move to the last question does mark like fruit we search for fruit we find it here i eat fruit twice a day so the answer is yes he does he likes fruit now we can say well done and move on to the next step now it's time to know how to make or write a poster first of all you bring a sheet of paper and then you split this sheet or fold it into halves as you can see then you write the title which is here then and now you write then on the left and now on the right to show the reader that the column on the left you're talking about the past and the one on the right you're talking about the present after that you go to this part at the top of the left column and you stick an old photo of yours on the left side and write last year below the photo as a subheading then you stick a recent photo of yours on the right side and write this year below the photo as a subheading also and now what should we do after sticking the photos on the left make a list of the things you did a year ago and on the right make a list of the things you do now now let's look at these two lists and underline all verbs so again the activity is underline all verbs in these sentences let's have a look at two sentences as a model to follow this sentence i took the bus to school where is the verb here good it's took let's see the other one i ride my bike to school where is the verb thank you it's right so now it's time to pause the video till you finish underlining all the remaining verbs in the remaining sentences in this poster back again to check what is the verb here thank you it's did what about that i do karate three times a week the verb is do well done in this one i didn't wear glasses excellent didn't wear 
I wear glasses. They are green. So we have wear and we have are. Two verbs. I went to bed at 8 o'clock. So the verb is went. Here, I go to bed at 9 o'clock. The verb is go. And now it's time to check the sentence of the cat. I didn't have a pet cat. Thank you, it's didn't have. The other one, I have got a pet cat. Its name is Lizzie. So the verbs are have got, good job, and is, don't forget that. Now let's move to fruit. I didn't eat fruit. So the verb is, thank you, didn't eat. If we go to the other and the last sentence, I eat fruit twice a day. So where is the verb here? Excellent. It's eat. And now it's time to ask an important and crucial question, which is what are the tenses used? So we're going to look at the verbs that we have just underlined to check what the tenses used are. Here we have took, did, didn't wear, went, didn't have, and didn't eat. So what do you think the tense is? Good. It's the past simple. So here, the past simple is used because this list of things about things that the person used to do last year. Let's look at the other list. Write, do, where, are, go, have got, is, and eat. Mostly, we have used the present simple. So, we use the present to talk about this year. To sum up, in order to write a poster, you need to do the following. Bring a blank sheet of paper, split it into halves as shown, then put the title, for example, then and now. After that, stick an old photo of yours and write last year below that photo. On the other side, stick a recent photo of yours and write this year. Then make a list of things you did or used to do last year using the past simple. Don't forget that. And on the right, you're going to list things you do nowadays using the present simple. At the end of this lesson, I'd like to thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed learning with us and see you next time.